how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Yes, I do. If you've been following me here, then guess what? You're an OG, baby. Yes, you are. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy you decided to join us on this crazy ride. And a crazy ride it is indeed. Uh, ignore how I look. I look like a whole mess express. I've been going through some things that are pretty mentally exhausting in my personal life. Uh, we won't be getting into that today, though. So, yeah, your girl, your girl is just trying to roll with the punches um, or whatever. Uh, you have to know my sense of humor when I'm going through things in my life. You know, I'm a big jokester. I have a dark sense of humor, so forth and so on. So, um, yeah, and that's just how I cope or whatever. Also, doing videos is very therapeutic for me and things to that nature. But we're not here to talk about all that today. What we're here to talk about is Uber Eats and Uber. Um, personally, I am approved to do Uber, which means you give rides to other people and stuff. Right now, I'm not really doing that part of it. I am focused more on the Uber Eats part of it. Now, I will have a referral link provided for you all. I will let you know by the end of the video where you can find that referral link. So, it would mean a lot if you're going to sign up to um, do that side hustle that you use my referral link. I would really appreciate it. It does help me out. But never fear, I don't make a dime unless you do at least 75 trips. So, by that point, if you have made it 75 trips, you have seen the value in the app and the kind of money you can make, so forth and so on. So you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, I highly recommend people get in on this side hustle, especially mothers. Like, look, you ain't got a babysitter or anything. You could take your kids with you to deliver food and stuff. People do it all the time. Now, with Uber Eats, you have a thing called Shop and Pay. They provide you a virtual card to go into stores and shop for a few different items. Um, I haven't really had many items that I had to shop for. Not saying that that can't happen or whatever, but from my experience, they've all been a few items or whatnot, and you get paid to do that. So, they give you a virtual card. You go in there. You shop for these items. It's on a little list on the app, and... Um, you go to the cash register, you take the virtual card, and you pay for it, and then you take a photo of the receipt to provide for the company. Nothing comes out of your pocket. It's all covered um, through the company. So, and then you got where you can go and pick up different items from like restaurants, um, Walmart, things to that nature, and get paid for doing that. Now, they do have different promos and stuff you have to be invited to, which means you'll make more money during certain hours of the day on certain days or whatnot, and that can be very beneficial too. I have noticed in my area that morning for breakfast, lunch, and dinner are when the businesses are booming. So, when you are doing this and you are signed up, you do have to sort of figure out what areas near you have the most business during what hours and that's going to be a little bit of a trial and error process um in the beginning i would just go online and wait at the house until an order came in after a few days i started being able to pick up on where a lot of my orders were coming from during what times of the day so during those times of day i'll just head out and ride that way and before you know it i got an order so dinner dinner is really good uh, today was a very busy day on the uber eats app and you know this just can be so beneficial to so many people i don't understand why more people aren't doing it if you have transportation and you are able to make deliveries why not earn that money be your own boss make your own hours you can do it on the side you can do it full time want someone to ride with you you can take them with you just keep the food sanitary and stuff you know safety precautions and all that for you know the food and you know for the customer and all of that um and i don't know it's just a great way to make money i highly i just don't understand if people have transportation while they're not doing this and here's the kicker if you don't have a car and you have a bicycle instead you can use your bicycle People deliver on bicycles all the time, so not having not having a car is not even an excuse not to get in on this money, especially if you say you have no money and you don't have um, anything on your background like this and stuff. For a long time, I tried to get on with Uber Eats and DoorDash and was unsuccessful because of poor decision making on my part years ago. Well, I have worked so hard throughout that time to become a better version of myself. I've stayed out of trouble and stuff. I was grinning 
granted to have um, those charges expunged. Um, therefore, I was able to get approved for Uber Eats and DoorDash and um, GoPuff just took me off their waiting list. So I'm waiting on that background uh, check to come back and it's just a good feeling to um, be, able, be able to do things I couldn't before because of my background. So, keep in mind that this might not apply to all charges, but my charges were um, theft and auto burglary. So, that was a big factor in why they kept denying me. I tried to appeal it. Nobody ever reached out to me and stuff. But once it was expunged, I got approved. So, here I have been doing that. I've been uh, working as a server and then on the side doing Uber Eats and no now DoorDash as well. Um, as far it since the other day when I checked I had made um, 1200 and something dollars and now it's been more since then I would have to check but keep in mind that is me giving it my all so I go to work and serve I get off work and I do orders and stuff um, on my days off I do orders and stuff I did notice the other day that um, I made the same amount of money in half the time doing these delivery services doing this delivery service than I did um, serving like I would have to work really hard a full shift and make the type of money I make serving but with doing uber and doordash and stuff like that um, I made it in half the time and that's with me having a few hours in between for a break so forth and so on now I just started recently doing DoorDash I've been doing Uber for about um, two weeks now something like that so I have definitely definitely seen what it can do for someone um, and it's good to be able to earn that extra money, especially if you're struggling or maybe you have something you want to save up for or just to pay the standard bills, whatever the case is. Man, I'm telling you, I encourage you to get in on this. And if you don't believe me, just sign up and try for yourself. If you don't like it or whatever, you don't have to continue doing it. You, Like I said, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, I do hear some people saying in their area they're not getting orders and stuff. You might need to drive to an area that is getting orders. Pay attention to the hot zones. Um, I want to make a very, very uh, in-depth video and that was my goal for today. I'll be honest with you though, my mind is not in it because I've had a lot of personal things going on here the last couple of days. So I will do a better video eventually breaking down every single little thing. And if y'all have questions of things y'all want to know, just leave them in the comments. And when I make my next video, I will in fact answer those. But um, I'm going to take y'all with me right now to do an order so y'all can see the process and see what it's like uh, for safety reasons obviously i won't be showing anybody's name anybody's location or whatnot because safety comes first and that's an evasion of prophecy so we're gonna do this the right way i'm gonna stop the video now i'm gonna wait for an order to come in and then i'll let you know where i have to go to pick it up and then i'll let you know when i'm delivering it and we'll do it like that um this is very simple step by step directions in the app. I didn't, I just learned by doing it, you know what I mean? And then after I got on, I went and watched a couple of videos too. But for the most part, I figured everything else out. I mean, I figured everything for the most part on my own. And then, you know, I got like some little tips and tricks and stuff from other videos that I watched. So, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, especially if you're in a large city area, bro, you can make so much money, okay? Sorry, I got a little excited. I got a little excited when it comes to making money, period. As I should, as I should, because I'm like, I can do so much for this. I have been entertaining the idea of doing this just full time, because I do enjoy it and stuff. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do as far as that goes yet, because there's 
so many factors that take place here. But anyways, let me stop running my mouth and uh, let's let's get an order in. Now I'm driving towards the area that I know is busier right about now to get orders in. Um, I did just decline my first order from Uber because it was six seventy dollars for almost seven miles and that's a no-go. I try to have low mileage, higher payout if possible. Now, I've taken a couple of crappy offers here and there um, just to build myself up in the beginning, but I really didn't really have to do that that much because I get pretty decent orders for the most time. Now, you do have something called an acceptance rate and stuff on there. Don't do any order that is not worth your time or money. Just make sure you keep your five-star rating up. Um, get those points. That's another thing. When you do deliveries, you get so many points. And those points help you earn different rewards and um, things like that. So, I'm almost at gold status right now. And uh, they have different... So, I have gold status, um, platinum. And I feel like there's something else. And it has different rewards on there i'll let you know before the end of this video exactly what it is um but i am almost gold status also once you get to a certain status on there i can't remember if it's gold or platinum you um can get your online college paid it i think it's asu so that's exciting there's different rewards and stuff for getting to different levels doing this now People say acceptance rates matter and stuff, and a lot say it doesn't. Like, people will tell you do not take orders that are not worth your time because you're putting gas and mileage on your vehicle to do these. So, a lot of people stick to that no tip, no trip. I do get there are people that like to pay cash and stuff and tip, but you know, you can't drive 10 miles to take that chance after taking a two fifty dollars order or $2.50 order or a $5 order um, just to find out that that's all you're making off that. So, be smart about it. If you're not making at least a dollar a mile, don't do it. Um, Sometimes I'll take an order like I just got, but I decided not to this time. So, we're going to wait to see if we can get a better order in. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing now. Of course, when I'm trying to record a video, then the orders ain't coming in. But in the app's defense, um, right now is about the time it was slowed down until about 9 or so. I did wait sort of late to do this because I've been dealing with other stuff or whatnot. So, I might just go home and wait on the order there. Typically, right before I get home or right as I'm trying to get home, I'll get an order or something. So, we'll see if that happens. Earlier, I got paid $14 to go to the Walgreens Pharmacy, pick up an item and to deliver it to like an elderly community or whatever. They had like little apartments set up for all the elderly people. Um, it looked like a really nice place too. It made my heart happy to see that they were living in a good stable environment but anyways um so yeah i think i'm just gonna go home and chill out until i get an order i'll let you know what happens what did i say i said that i would get an order about the time i got home or as i was getting home or whatever order just came in for eleven dollars and three cents at the wing stop it's only about nine miles i know some people might not want to drive nine miles i don't care oh and then we just got ad delivery for an extra 991 so we're gonna be sorry we just got another add on for an extra 991 stop at McAllister's deli um and get an order too so that's what we're about to do let's get into it shall we i got the first order from the wing stock i'm about to put it into my hot bag to keep it nice and warm got the second order that came with a um, large sweet tea so we're gonna get this put in the hot box and then we, our hot bag and then we're gonna deliver it the first one we have to deliver is this one and it's only 12 minutes away the first order delivered up three flights of damn stairs and then it said a certain building and i went in that building and it went all the way up to the number before what I needed so it was on the other one so I had to work walk up three more flights of stairs that can be a little agitating but 
it's all good. The other location is only five minutes away. Right, so I made it in not long ago. Sorry if you can hear my washer in the background, but I'm washing work clothes for tomorrow. Anywho, um, I wanted to go ahead and get back home. My husband made some dinner and I needed a good meal because your girl's been going through it. <laughs> okay, she's been going through it. So, anywho, what that was is I got an Uber for 11.03 for Wingstop. And then I got an add-on order for another customer for $9.91. Um, the locations were only five minutes apart. It was only about 10 minutes to get there. So, that worked out. So, about 20 bucks right there. And then, while I was doing all that, I went ahead and did a couple of DoorDash. Uh, well, technically, it was one DoorDash. They sent it in as one for $12.50. Because I have good ratings and stuff, I was um, top priority for that order. It wasn't far. It was right down the road. Um... And it was at the same restaurant for two different people who basically live next door. So, 30 bucks in under an hour, not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Um, but this video is not about DoorDash, it's about Uber. I'm telling you, get in on this. By the way, your acceptance rate, if I didn't explain that well enough, acceptance rate is how many orders you accept versus what you decline. Um, but you want to keep your rating as far as your stars and stuff up. You want to keep your own time up. You want to be making your trips in a reasonable time frame, you know. Um, sometimes I'll take a couple of different orders from different apps. Don't do that unless you know you can handle the time spent it takes to get to these places. Don't overwhelm yourself. Um... It took me a good week or so before I would even start taking multiple orders or whatever because I wanted to get comfortable with doing it. And there's been a couple of times I've cut it real close. So just be careful doing that. But I'm telling you now, this is very much worth it. Very much. Oh, let me pull my shirt up. I'm so sorry if you heard that. That was that was the sink anyways. <sighs> But, yeah, so, I know that this video was a little, you know, it's not the video I wanted to make, but I at least wanted to get a video up as promised. If I missed anything in this video, which I'm sure I did, just leave it in the comment section and I'll make another one. Um, but, yeah, this is all about Uber. I'm going to leave the referral link in the description. Um, as well as on my account details. It'll be a Vinkus link. You'll click on that and you'll scroll down to Uber to sign up. I'm telling you, get in on this money, especially if you live in a major city and stuff. I can't speak for people who live out in the country. If you live out in the country, you might have to drive to a city area to get orders, so keep that in mind. Um, it's a good little side hustle to have. It's simple instructions like step by steps steps are on the app for you so when an order pops up you'll either click set or you'll click the x button to decline or you can let the time run out on it if you're going to decline it then from there it will show you what location to go to and it will navigate you to that location you'll go there you'll look at you'll scroll up and you'll look at the name and then you'll go tell them that you're there for an uber eats order and you'll say the person's name They'll have you confirm the pickup right there. Some restaurants do, some restaurants don't, but you have to confirm the pickup anyways to go to the next step. Once you confirm the pickup, it will navigate you to the person's location and you will follow the instructions by um, sliding up and it'll say whether you need to leave it in the door or whether you need to hand it to them. Some orders you have to get a pin from the customer. Um, the only thing that can be a little irritating is like if you have to wait on the order. That's happened a few times, but it hasn't been that bad. There was only one time I really didn't like. It paid good money, but I had to sit at Walmart for almost an hour. It was a really busy night. So, unless it's paying um, good money, I'll know not to accept them kind of orders on uh, Fridays and Saturdays at nighttime. Uh, Wingstop top typically takes a little bit longer on Friday nights and Saturday nights. So, unless I'm getting paid good for that, then I won't accept those orders on Fridays and Saturday nights. 
Um, other than that, they're pretty good about it. If there is an excessive wait time or I'm waiting more than five, 10 minutes and I let the app know, but like I said, that hasn't really happened a lot. Um, for the most part, I'm able to go into these restaurants and stuff or stores and get the order and walk right out. So it's definitely not happening enough for me to be too irritated with it or for me not to do it or anything like that. So, um, like I said, all the steps are there. You just gotta be able to follow directions and things to that nature. Anybody can do it. I'm telling you, even if you have a bicycle, get in on this, like you need a few pucks. This is the perfect thing to help you do that. Um, you need some gas. This is the perfect thing to help you get your gas money. You need to put groceries in the house. This is the perfect thing to help you do that. And if you put in the work and get them orders and take them and stuff, you can, you can make some good money. Um, I really don't like taking smaller orders unless they're like money wise, unless they're not far or whatever. I've taken a couple of crappy ones just so I could build up a little bit. But for the most part, I haven't even had to worry about doing that, like I said before, because the orders are typically pretty good that come through. So I have noticed the diff some differences between Uber and DoorDash when it comes to pay, but that's gonna be for another video. I need to learn how to put like screenshots of stuff and videos and stuff. I keep saying I'm gonna learn how to do it and haven't taken the time to do so. That's on me because I'm very tech savvy and if I just sat down and did it, I know I could figure it out. But I'm learning all this because I got things planned for YouTube, Instagram and all that. Just bear with me. Um, that's all I can say on that. I'm handling a lot within my personal life and stuff, especially with certain people that I love and care about very much. So, you know, it's been a little, huh? and then I'm working a lot too. So, yeah. But anywho, I won't keep you any longer. This video is already longer than I would have liked. And I hope I hit the main points in this video. Like I said, if you have questions about something, just comment it. And I will answer it in my next video. Until next time. Bye.